So welcome back to another bloody good vaping. So today I'm going to be taking a look at a Genesis Atomizer and one that has been gaining quite a lot of hype recently and rightly so because it's a lovely little Jenny and that is the Inax V2 by uh, Athia Mods. Athia Mods is uh, run by a uh, French modder called Vincent Athia who has designed now a, a couple of uh, atomizers and hybrids as well and that's the Inax and the Inax V2 and the Magneto which is the hybrid version and the Magneto V2. Uh, now the Inex V2 is a 22mm Genesis style atomizer. It's made of 316L stainless steel. Um, has airflow control from a sort of zero mil to 1.4 mil, so it's got quite a nice airy draw for a Genesis atomizer, and obviously adjustable as well. Uh, comes with a Teflon drip tip and uh, a threaded top cap as well. Um, and it's got quite a unique deck on this, which uh, makes it stand out quite a lot. The positive post is basically sort of like a, a, a thin pin, a stainless steel pin that's situated central in the deck. Um, and basically you put your mesh over the top of this pin, connect to your negative post, um, wrap your coils, and then over the top of this metal pin you put these sort of grip sticks, which are sort of small stainless steel coils um, that basically uh, your top of your canthor, your positive side of your canthor, sits inside so then it conducts the uh, power through the uh, post itself and keeps the mesh nice and firm inside and it works really well and I've found it makes a really forgiving coil and wick setup. Um, currently I've got this on the ZNA30 at uh, 0.99 ohms at 13.5 watts and uh, I've got the airflow all the way open and it does chuck out a lovely bit of vapour and stunning flavour as well. Superb. Now there are a few differences between the first Inax and the V2. The first Inax uh, didn't have an adjust adjustable airflow, um, it was basically just st uh, standard at 1.2mm, so they've now provided um, airflow as well. And also on the V1 I believe there was a, you couldn't get actually inside the uh, deck, the juice um, holder basically at the bottom here, your tank, to clean it out. Now they've put on top of the deck sort of a cut in where you can use a coin or so to unscrew uh, the tank section and clean inside. Um, the top cap as well also has this sort of really cool three fin design here which obviously helps to cool it down uh, not being all one solid piece and obviously you get a Teflon uh, drip tip as well to cool down that vapour because it can be quite a hot vape but you can actually change the uh, drip tip as you want for whichever one you want um, but I actually quite like this drip tip that it comes with just take another blast now Really nice. Now before I get into more details, what I think about it, price, etc, etc, let's go down at the table now, have a look at all the bits close up, see what comes in the box, throw a coil on it, give it a wick, um, and uh, come back and give it a bloody good vaping. Save. So here you have your Inax V2 by Athia, this 22mm Genesis style atomizer. It's made of 316L stainless steel, which is of a surgical grade. It's 47mm from the top of the Teflon drip tip to the bottom of the 510. In the top cap section, we do have a 1.4mm hole. This is adjustable, utilising this section of the top cap. Basically, let me just take this out. You'll see there you have this groove cut into this section. Once placed in here, you can either close it off or open it up to get, to get a lighter or a, a, an area drawer. On the bottom you'll see your 510 pin, this is also the positive post as well. It's not adjustable, um, so be mindful of what mods you're using it on, making sure they have their own adjustable 510. It can actually come out a section, losing a bit of your positive post, but if you screw it down too tight on a mod, it will push it back in. So uh, be mindful of that. As standard, it comes with its own Teflon drip tip. You can remove this, uh, it can be quite tricky to get out with your hands because of its size, I just use a vape grip like so and you can actually fit in any 510 drip tip you want to use. 
in the top cap section you'll see these three fins uh, these also they look they look good but they're also used to sort of uh, decrease the heat from your top cap from not being one solid piece so uh, that's quite a nice design there the top cap section is threaded uh, they're quite thin threads and there is a few of them but they are they, they're nice and smooth inside here you'll see a review reduced chamber in your top cap as so and then we get onto the deck where things start to get a little bit interesting. So on your deck here, you'll see you have a fill, a fill plug there on the side. This can be removed depending on what size bottle or needle you're using, but you can also fill up via the slug as well. On this side of the deck, you'll see your negative screw, which is a flathead screw. And then central, you'll see this sort of post sticking up, this pin sticking up, which is also your 510. Now basically this is your positive post and what you would do is you would get your stainless steel mesh, place it over the top like so, you'll then attach your canthal to your negative if you so desire, wrap your coils and then feed the top of your canthal through these things here. Now you do get a few of these and different sizes depending on the different gauge wire you use. You will then thread your canthal through that, place this on the top like so and screw it down. Now that will be your positive connection. Which is nice about that is the fact that your mesh is always firmly situated in the center of your deck. It cannot be bent or anything like that and so it'll be less prone to hotspots. We'll get to that when I actually wick it. Now to clean inside the tank, the tank section being here which holds around 2.5 mm juice, you'll want to push out your positive pin, like so. Get a coin or something of such, and by using this groove in the middle, you'll twist and turn it as so. You can then remove this section and thoroughly clean inside your tank. This is something uh, upgraded from the V1. You were unable to remove the deck from the V1 to clean the tank. So that's something they have addressed with this model and it's uh, quite nice. It's good to be able to clean that out and get a fresh juice and a fresh taste in there. And it's simply just replace your pin like so and you're good to start wicking. Now you do get some spares with the, uh, with the Inax V2 when you purchase it. Obviously you get a spare positive post and 510. You'll get your O-rings, you'll get a spare fill plug as such as well and you also get different sizes of your grub of your grip sticks like so now you'll get some uh, th coils say there's three here this is for like your lighter gauge wire like 0.2 canthal you'll then get something slightly thicker which is also three coils there which is for say 0.25 canthal and then you'll get a larger one as such for say 0.3 canthal as well and you do get plenty of them, but there is a spares kit available. I think that costs around £10, and you'll get all this in the spares kit. You'll also get this little sort of post here like such, and that is to wrap your stainless steel mesh to get it the perfect width for your positive post. So let's move on and uh, wick this bad boy. So to begin wicking, basically, I've cut myself some 400 mesh at around 21 mil. I used the uh, stainless steel rod that came with the NX V2 to wrap it. I'm just going to slide that now onto the positive post like so. Take my 0.2 canthal that I'm going to use here. Hook that on to my negative screw underneath and then just tighten that up like so. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to twist my mod to coil it up nice and even. Once I've got my coils on there, I'm going to take my smallest grip stick, basically with the three coils like so, and I'm just going to thread that down through the top of the camphor wire and then I'm just going to sit that on top like so turn my camphor so it's making connection it's touching and 
and then just pulse my mod and try and get those coils lighting up nice and evenly. I need to make a slight adjustment there. Try and remove a hot spot at the bottom there, which is typical. There we go, starting to put that through like so. Just wait for the last one to coil up. So again, slight adjustment. Bit of a big hot spot there on the bottom. There we go. Still quite warm, let's just give that a little bit of a... And there we go. Lighting up nice and evenly. Yes, it took me probably a couple of minutes, but it's a bit difficult to do it on camera than when you're actually sitting on there. But there you go. It's done. What I do now is I'm just going to trim the top of my wire here. Fill with juice using the fill plug. I'm basically just going to put the bottom in the bottle in there. Let's have a look what I've got. I'm going to use some Vaping King slime. So I just push the bottle into the fill slug like so. Now when filling, you'll see it basically when it's full, it will start to come out of the middle. There we go, like so. And we should be good to go. So that's the Inax V2 by Athia. So there you had the Inax V2, and uh, as you can see, really lovely little Genesis Atomizer. Uh, great brush finish, uh, machined really well, and that unique deck as well, which I, I find absolutely stunning to work with I mean it's uh, so easy you know to, to wick and coil this beast and because that mesh sits on top of that post in the middle it's sort of really firmly sat there no accidental bending of it or moving it about when you're so taking the top cap off to fill it so uh, that's a really nice touch and being able to spin your mod in order to wrap that coil as well gives you really nice coils as well really nice and spaced and and sort of very neat as well um, I don't ever seem to have a problem with wicking with this. I mean, I use, but occasionally I use 200 mesh or I use 400 mesh, and even as thin gauge as sort of like 0.20 canthor as well, you know, three or four wraps of that, and it gives off a really nice flavour and rip, wicks really well. I think um, Athia, Vincent Athia, even recommends you using, say, 200 or 400 mesh and three uh, wraps of 0.2 canthor, which he also supplies with the Inax V2 on purchase. Um, there is one little drawback that I find with it that is quite annoying and that's the fact there's no adjustable 510 pin it is a fixed 510 pin there is a way to sort of move it out slightly you've got that sort of little um, rubber washer on the bottom of the uh, post you can sort of push down and bring that out ever so slightly um, but obviously it's still not an adjustable 510 so you are going to need to have adjustable 510s on your mods otherwise and some mods this might not connect which can be a real pain in the arse. Uh, the airflow control works really well and having the option to being able to go out to 1.4 is really sort of nice to chucking out those clouds you know you want to take a real nice sort of deep lung hit you have the option of doing that most Genesis atomizers usually have a standard air hole at about 1 mil or 1.2 mil uh, having 1.4 is a, a nice sort of extra bonus if you really want to get out plenty of vapor
Now the threads on the top cap are really nice, they're really nice and smooth, not crunchy at all. There is a lot of them and they are quite thin as well, but it's quite nice and simple just to uh, unscrew it. You get a really nice reduced chamber as well, so that vapour spins out nice and lovely. Um, you know, it's, it's a fantastic looking little Atty as well. It's a small little beast, you know, it does actually look the size of an RDA, the size of a dripper. I think with the um, drip tip and the 510 connection, it comes in at about 47mm, and without the drip tip and the 510, it's about 37mm as well. So it does have that sort of small, uh, compact look about it. The flavour on it is uh, outstanding really, you know, and I can see what all the hype is about. It really does bring out them flavours from that juice. When I use Genesis Atomizers, I tend to only use sort of fruity juices. I prefer them, um, you know, I don't really like sort of your custards or your dessert juices in a Genesis Atomizer. I use like my Silica Atties for that. But when you're putting a, juice, uh, a fruit juice through this Genesis Atomizer, say I'm using maybe Lime Sparkle by a, by a Fair City Vapes or Slime by Vaping King, um, or Grog by Vaping King, you can really bring out all the flavours that they have and it's such a fantastic vape. Take another blast now, it, it's that good. Now in the box, as you saw in the close-up, you do get some spares with it. You do get that spare centre post as well, which is good because over time you might have some issues with that. It is very thin, so you do get a spare one. You get a spare fill plug as well, um, and that is quite nice as well that you can not actually have to remove that fill plug um, when you're putting in your, your juice. You can just, there is a hole put in there for filling it up. Um, it's recommended by Vincent that you take out the fill plug, say, uh, fill plug, say you was using cotton in this. You know, personally for me, I prefer using mesh. I just prefer the flavour of them, but you can actually do a cotton build. I also believe there's a tutorial for that on the Vapist website where they're sold. Um, and the fact that as well that you do get pretty much a, a, all the spare sort of a little screw sticks at the top, I think they're called, I think they're called that, um, that you put on the top of it, the grip sticks, sorry. Um, they do come in three different sizes, the grip sticks as well, for depending on what sort of gauge wire you use. You have a sort of like the smaller one with sort of three wraps for your 0.2 canthal. You then have a thicker one with also three wraps for say 0.25. And you also have a larger one with about four or five wraps on that as well for your 0.3 canthal as well so depending on what sort of gauge wire you're using you have different grip sticks to sort of fit on that as well um, you can be, be, be careful with those grip sticks they are very small and uh, you know you could lose them but uh, Inex do also do a spares kit where you get your spare center post you get your spare um, fill plug screw and you get your spare sort of grip sticks as well so if you ever sort of do lose one there is an opportunity there to get the grip sticks and in the spares pack now to buy these, uh, they are £120. Um, you do get the you do get the atomizer itself. Uh, like I said, you get a spares kit in the box now with the atomizer, so uh, you're really good to go. You can actually get these um, at Vapist. They are not in stock at the moment, but I have heard that they'll be back in stock in October. Um, so if you are interested in getting a V2 have a look in October on Vapist, but be quick, these are selling out like nobody's business, everybody is after one of these, like I said, they have been hyped up quite well, and rightly so, they are a fantastic Genesis Atomizer, and really sort of easy to use, I've found, compared to anything, you know, to wrap a coil on this takes seconds, and it wicks literally seconds after that as well. Um, there is an option to get a hybrid version of the Inax, um, and they call that the Magneto, you get three tubes with it, a hybrid version of the Inax V2. I think these are around £220, um, and you get you know, the Magneto switch as well. Haven't had a chance to use one of them. I did see a couple at Vape Fest, but uh, I didn't use one. But I do actually hybrid this up with my MCR, and it looks absolutely fantastic, and with the recess switch as well. It's a, just a cracking mod and a cracking combination to have. I've just said cracking twice. I apologise, Todd. Um, stunning. We'll use the word stunning. Um, but yeah, I mean, at the moment, using this, you know, I've got quite a few Jennies now, um, you know, like Sat22, Pegasus22. Um, this is by far my favourite, and it's uh, it's so nice. I bought one for my wife, and my wife has never been into Genesis atomizers at all. She thinks they're too fiddly, they're too much of a pain in the ass. hot spots, burnt taste, blah, 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 blah. But she has been using this solidly for a week, not had one complaint, 
from my wife, which is rare. Um, so obviously it does what it says on the tin. It really is fucking fantastic. Um, love it to look at. Love the fins on the top cap as well. Um, love the airflow control. It really is absolutely stunning. And I would highly, highly recommend anybody who even wants to start getting into Jenny's and has got a bit of money saved, you know, this is a great way to start because it is easy, you know, um, it is relatively easy to get a, a nice vape out of this and very, very quickly as well. So, uh, yeah, the Inax V2 by Athia. I'm going to take another blast here now. It is, it's just absolutely beautiful. absolutely spot on so thank you very much for watching this review and i will see you on the next one stay safe